In this video, I'm going to show you how to deal with demolition plans for panel boards or switchboards or other electrical equipment, which has to be treated differently than demolition of fixtures like receptacles and switches. So this video piggybacks on a previous video I've done regarding the Revit project phasing setup. And if you haven't seen that, I recommend you check out this video and I have a link in the description below, but it explains how the built-in project phasing system works in Revit. And that's how we end up with a demolition plan such as this, where we have, I even colored the demolition walls and the devices, etc. And the basics of that are you can assign phasing information. And again, this is project phasing, not electrical phasing, just for clarification. You can apply project phasing information to elements, such as the architect does their walls and doors, and we do things like our receptacles. Click on a receptacle over at the right under phasing. You will see which phase was it created. Well, it's an existing, so it's it was created in the existing phase, and we want it demolished in the new construction. So when I switch the view to a new construction view, it will be gone. And then to get a demo plan, we set up the visibility under the phase in here for this floor plan. I'm showing the previous, what's here before, so the existing, and demo. So if you need a refresher on that, go watch that video. So I'm going to continue on now to explain, and maybe you've seen this, that sure, this works great for receptacles and lights and switches, things like that. It doesn't work great for electrical equipment, such as panel boards and switchboards. Yes, if I click on, for example, this existing panel board, I can get to phasing information over on the right again. So here, phasing, I can say it was created in existing, and it makes it kind of a lighter line type, not so bold. I could say phase demolished new construction. If I'm just getting rid of this panel and I don't care about what circuits are attached to it or anything like that, I'm fine. But in this case, as you can see, I have some receptacles that will remain, these light colored ones that are not red, not dashed, they will remain. This is what my new power plant is going to look like. Some existing and some new. I want to power these up to a panel in a new location. So I'll remove them from the existing panel and put them in the new panel, which I haven't shown yet. Now, depending on how you typically show demolition plans, some people may try to look at this plan here where I have existing circuiting shown. See how these home run back to existing panel A1. Now you can show it that way, but watch what happens when I demo the panel. If I say phase demolished in new construction, apply, I get lots of errors. The panel no longer matches the properties for the circuit. Disconnect the panel from the circuit. Now what does that even mean? And it does it for four because I have four circuits in here. What it means, the properties of the circuit isn't being demoed. There's no phasing information for a circuit. It sees the circuit remaining, but the panel doesn't match the phase of that. So we get this problem and it wants to disconnect everything. So therefore, I cannot show existing circuiting to a panel that I'm removing. And then I also can't have these circuited to the new panel as well as to the old panel. So again, you click on a wire, there's no phasing. If I hover over with tab to get to the circuit right there, click on the circuit, now I'm looking at an electrical circuit. Again, there is no phasing data. So there's a missing element in Revit, and this has been brought up numerous times on various Revit and Autodesk sites, that circuits are missing phasing information so that we cannot have demoed circuits and new circuits can't have both. So I'm currently working with a client who does a lot of renovations, remodels, and this happens a lot. We have a lot of panels that are being removed from a wall that's coming down and moved to a new location or a new panel put up, things like that. So we've come up with this kind of a workaround. So we would not show these red ones being circuited and we would not show these existing being circuited to a demo panel. We would instead just put some kind of notes for the demo plan about these existing circuits being demoed. And that's even if you know the circuiting, if you have existing as builds or record drawings or in the field, if you can tell, we would do that with notes. We'd like to have two panel schedules, an existing demo panel and a new panel. 
So this is the workflow that we use. So let me first put my new panel in. So I'm going to just create similar, and this happens to be my, my, be my universal panel board that I have a video on. I'm going to put this over here on this wall right there. And now it's saying none of the elements are visible. Well, that's because the way I have this view set up is a demo plan, so I don't see new items. So let me go to my new power plan, and there we can see it. So I'm going to put that there, and I'm going to call this either just A1 to delineate it from the existing A1, or maybe I will call this R for relocated A1. If the panel is in decent condition, I'm just going to relocate it and reconnect its feeder and its branch circuits that are remaining. So I'm just going to call this relocated A1 right there. Then I want to circuit everything to this relocated panel. So now I need to redo this circuiting. So first of all, we need to remember which plan, which view we're in. Right now I'm in a demo circuiting plan. I'm not going to show this kind of circuiting in my demo plan anymore. So I'm going to be doing more of something like this. So I'm actually going to remove all of this wiring. I don't want this to conflict with my change of circuiting that I will be doing. So let me get rid of all these. There. So now I have a clean demo plan without the circuiting showing. In my new power plan, I do want things to be circuited. So I'm going to hover over this circuit and I need to change it to the R panel. And I need to make sure that I'm using the right wire type. I had previously shown a, an underground type of wire. We don't want that. And then hit the arc wire and there we go. It avoids that one receptacle that is demoed. So now I can show this connected to, without a leader, to my relocated panel. I want to do the same for this other circuit. So hover over there, click it, change it to the right wire, arc it, and there we go. Now I want to change this to the R panel again. There we go. And then I will go through and circuit the rest of these as new. So let's go ahead and make a panel schedule for this. Create panel schedule, choose a template. Brief, I'll use the default. So there I have my relocated panel with my new circuiting. Now the old panel, the removed panel, does have some other circuits in it that are being demoed. Now one circuit I didn't show you that I also show on a previous video of how to show existing circuits even if you don't have them in your plan view. For example, let me go to my first floor plan coordination view, which doesn't have any cropping. And you will see out here, outside the building, I have an existing receptacle that I just called existing receptacles. And it has a load of 1800 VA on it. Again, I have a link in the description below on how I deal with existing circuits that may not be actually shown in the plan. So I have that that I also want to recircuit to my new relocated panel. So again, I'll change that one down to the relocated. So now I have the three circuits remaining that I want on the, my new panel. Now this old panel, this is a demoed circuit. I can leave that there. If I want to show other demoed circuits, I could create them as separate circuits like I just did there. I could create all these existing circuits here to show for demo, or I can merely put a spare breaker in here and just call it existing receptacles. And I don't worry about the load because it's an existing panel that I'm demoing. I don't need a tally of all the loads here. I just need a panel schedule, and then I can put other things in here like demo. I can put notes in here to direct contractors what I want done. So that's how I would deal with an existing panel that's being demoed. And then the new panel, relocated panel, acts like normal with all of its loads. Just for final cleanup on this, how do I deal with this panel? Now that I don't have circuits that I need to keep in it, maybe I can just demo it now. Well, I'll see what happens when I do demo. I say it's demolished in new construction. I still get problems. The panel no longer matches properties, and that's for one of two. There's two of these. 
Y2. Well, even that spare that I put in this panel will be removed. So I cannot demo this panel if I want anything showing in its panel schedule. So yet again, another workaround. The way I deal with that, and this is a good skill to learn, and I have other videos that show how I use filters to turn things on and off, and that's what I would do here. So a quick reminder of how filters work is I need to have something in this panel that I can use in a filter to turn it off. So what I will do is over here in an instance parameter, like this, under identity data, there's a comments. This is just text. I can put whatever I want. I can say demo and use that comments parameter to control visibility of that panel. So if I go to my first floor plan and I want that to be demoed, instead of using the built-in project phasing, I will create a filter that turns off anything that says demo and quickly how that works. And I'll have a whole other video on just filters because they're so powerful. Now it's not a view template, so I'll do it up here with my visibility graphics. Over here, you can see there's a tab called filters. And right now there's some underground filters that I've used for different wire types. But I can create a new filter called demo. So here's the filters I already have in here. I want to create a new filter called demo. And then this here says, what categories do I want to include in this demo filter? Well, I'm including electrical equipment, and I could do fixtures, and I'll even set it up for lighting. Let's make it for everything electrical, lighting devices and lighting fixtures. So those are the categories I want to control. Now, these are the rules. You can do and rules or or rules. We're going to do just one rule, so it doesn't really matter. We're going to say all selected categories is what this means. All the selected categories. Here's what I want to be the flag or the parameter that I check. Remember that comments? I need to find comments right here. Here's the condition. Equals, does not equal, greater than, less than. You can do all these different kinds of checks. I'm going to say contains the word demo. There, if it contains the word demo, then it will be selected in this filter. Say, OK, that's all I'm doing. Now, I've created a demo filter, and I need to add it to this view by saying add. So find demo, add it to this view. Now, this is where I control what happens with that selection. I'm enabling the filter because I can turn this on and off at will. Do I want to override any of the line types or patterns? No, but I do want to control the visibility of anything that says demo, I actually want it to be not visible. So I'll uncheck it. So this just means I could even make it halftone. Or this just means that now anything that has the word demo in the comments section will be turned off. So it's another method of control. And as you can see, my panel, existing demo panel, disappeared in this view. But it did not disconnect all the circuits because I didn't actually demo the panel with the phasing situation. So it's still there. So if this was helpful and you want to learn more about Revit electrical only, check out this video I have linked on the screen now. Thanks for watching.